Grace. And the very same heart so quickly led her to my son. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts. You are a girl from the north, here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? Salut tout le monde, je m'appelle Mika Rob et bienvenue dans ce nouvel épisode de Game of Thrones. Dans le dernier épisode, euh, Garrett était obligé de partir euh, comment dire, au mur pour être protégé, enfin pour être protégé, pour éviter d'avoir de de, plus d'ennuis euh, dans la famille Forestier parce que... Euh, euh, comment dire, Lord Witting, je sais pas comment on peut le dire, j'arrive pas à le dire, Wit, Witil, Witil, je sais pas comment on dit, euh, était venu pour le chercher euh, parce qu'il aurait tué euh, deux hommes euh, sur les trois qui, qui avaient tué le père de, de Garrett. Pour lui, voilà, c'était un crime, nanana, il voulait lui faire payer. Ensuite, euh, nous contrôlions Ethan. Le nouveau lord de la famille Forestier, de la maison Forestier, comme ils disent. Euh, parce que, en fait, c'est le deuxième fils être né après. Donc, deuxième, normal. Hein. Enfin, pas ce que je dis, moi, normal. Bref, en tout cas, euh, j'ai été, on va dire, assez correct. Mais euh, je ne suis euh, pas donné, on va dire, de plus de cartes qu'il n'en faut au lord waiting. Euh. Donc voilà, et là en fait, nous contrôlons Mira. Euh, je sais plus là combien de filles c'était, là c'est là, je veux dire celle qui est née. En tout cas, voilà, elle est à Port-Réal et nous allons euh, essayer de faire en sorte qu'elle euh, qu vive déjà. Donc euh, là, je sais pas trop ce qu'on doit faire. Nous allons découvrir ça ensemble. Ensemble. Que j'apprenne à parler. Ça. Lettre inachevée. Father, much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and mother could come, although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you. And I look forward to the day you can. Il n'y aura que ta mère. Parce que le papounet, il est mort. Je suis désolé. Ash has me this coin to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. It once belonged to Lady Elena. Et enfin, le symbole de la maison forestier. Ethan made this for me. Ok. 
On dirait presque qu'elle pleure, puisque les... Je sais pas les traits qu'elle a sous les yeux, c'est pas un truc de genre de l'âge ou ça, elle est assez jeune donc ça peut pas être ça. Donc, euh... oh, qu'est-ce que tu fais Wonders Il est juste à droite, Diana. pourquoi tu vas à gauche Ah oui, ton frère. Sauf de, désolé. C'était prévu comme ça, je pense. Hein. Je pouvais pas les sauver. C'est tout Il a rien d'autre Non. Quoi Brasier de charbon. Je viens de regarder. Euh, donc... Euh, non. Attends, on va aller regarder par la fenêtre avant. King's Landing. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. Allez. Ici. Alors qu'est-ce qu'elle a écrit maman? It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Peut-être pas eu le temps de lire la suite où, où sa mère lui dit euh, la mort de son père euh, et la mort de son frère. One moment. Oh, sorry, milady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. Euh, faut faire le faire rentrer. No, it's fine. Come in. Elle euh, a un bon gamin. Il a, il a une voix d'homme, donc ça me surprend euh, par rapport à sa taille. Begging your pardon, lady, but you are right. If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. It's private. I'd rather not say. Of course, my lady. I didn't mean to pry. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. Ah, il met quoi dedans You work for Lady Marjorie I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. It's widely known that I work for Lady Marjorie. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. T'es un espion, toi. J'aurais pas dû te faire rentrer. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning. Outside the royal sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei? They appeared to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but it was definitely an argument. You were eavesdropping? No, not at all. I was just passing by and I heard them arguing about House Forrester and. House Forrester? I thought you'd like to know. Forgive me if I was mistaken. I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. Most people don't tend to notice a cold boy, not in King's Landing with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Mm -hmm. Good night, my lady. Ah, c'est elle. Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come, there's something we must discuss. From the day you arrived in High Garden, I've thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden, a dear friend in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. My family wrote me, my lady. I don't doubt they must be overcome with grief. But you must not despair. We will get through this together. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the North whose family fought for Rob Stark, 
It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the royal set. She mentioned the northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. She was very pleased with herself. What does she intend to do? <sighs> she intends to make you miserable, knowing that will make me miserable as well. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For what, I don't know, but she's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. I'll do as you ask, my lady. I knew I could trust you. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. Oh, moi, je lui fais confiance. Rien que dans la série, déjà, elle est, euh, elle est sympa, je trouve. Okay, voilà. You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. Okay. Good luck. Ah mince, je pensais qu'elle viendra avec moi. Ah si, elle vient. D'accord. Et sur le trône, c'est qui Ah non, c'est pas sur le trône, d'accord, c'est Tyrion. You can do this. Il bon, y a pas énormément de monde, hein. à moins qu'il y a du monde euh, à gauche là. Mais là, il euh, y a pas énormément de monde. Hein. Ah, Lady Marjorie, aren't you looking lovely this evening? Lord Tyrion. Your Grace? With your permission, allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Euh, on va s'agenouiller. Your Grace. The girl knows her courtesies. Impressive. You may rise. La meilleure chose house à faire. Forrester is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, your grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Is your family loyal to the king? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. Joffrey is the one true king, your grace. Hmm. And yet. For centuries, the Foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark, a house of traitors. They were the Wardens of the North. We all served at the pleasure of the King. Clever girl. <laughs> Perhaps too clever for her own good. The girl did name ah, Joffrey like as the one true King. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? He is the Warden of the North, your grace. He is. And I the Queen Regent and Tyrion the Master of Coin. La main du roi plutôt, non? The girl has a remarkable talent for answering questions while in fact saying nothing at all. <laughs> Old allegiances are not easily abandoned, but now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forrester Ironwood does seem rather unique. To our mutual benefit, Your Grace. And at the pleasure of your king. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. 
It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. There are limits, Your Grace. Perhaps, mm -hmm. but not if your house faces potential ruin. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. Mm -hmm. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the war? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? She was just following her heart, Your Grace. And the very same heart so quickly led her to my son. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts. You are a girl from the North, here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure Let she would... Let the girl answer the question. Go on. I would be true to the king, your grace. Well said. I was beginning to worry you didn't have your priorities. J'ai dit uniquement pour pas... She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. My sense is this girl will say almost anything to get what she wants. Which is not very encouraging. Oh, si je pouvais être à sa place. Ah, I'd moi. like a word Bim. with ah, direct. you, if I may. Of course, Your Grace. Oula, ma Marguerite n'est pas contente. I'll walk you out. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once, at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then he didn't trust Gruz Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. These would be trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. That's very kind of you to say. That certainly took courage. To so publicly declare your loyalty to Joffrey for all to hear. Poor Lady Marjorie was humiliated, although Cersei seemed quite pleased. It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. I did it for Lady Marjorie. Hmm, rather odd, if that's what she asked of you. But I'm sure she has your best interests at heart. My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood, and I speak for the crown in this regard. Not her. You can help my family. I suppose the Crown could be persuaded to secure Ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance. And it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Are you willing to risk that? It may be far too dangerous. It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Please. You are a brave girl, aren't you? I'll consider it. Now, oh. if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. Thank you for the advice, Lord Tyrion. Just be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. Mm. Moi je fais confiance aussi à Tyrion, parce que dans la série, moi je l'aime bien. C'est un personnage, je trouve, qu'on voilà, qu peut faire confiance. 
Si les gens lui faisaient pas confiance, unique, c'était uniquement parce que voilà. Euh, sa famille a tout fait pour, euh, pour pas qu'il soit euh, bien traité. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back, here with the fourth cousins and the ninth born sons. <laughs> ah, Sir Jamie, I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah, what? <laughs> It's true. And Oberyn Martell, the Red Viper. I'm told he has a paramour. Which I doubt is Dornish for wife. Put it back. We're just having a bit of fun. It's probably for the best. I've heard he's a bit perverse. Perhaps yes. Lady Marjorie can make the right introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Although, marrying a king, I can only imagine what that would be like. Would you marry Joffrey? If it meant you'd become queen. Oh, pas, pas avec lui, non? He does have a certain look about him, and he's always treated Lady Marjorie well. I'd be willing to marry, but not Joffrey. Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as queen of the Seven Kingdoms. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. Let's see, who else should we marry off? Brienne of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> What a perfect match! Sir Bronn and. What are you doing? Ah, uh, je vais en prendre pour mon garde, non? Well, Sarah. I'm sorry, my lady. As am I. We shouldn't have been messing about. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. The Queen was pleased by your display, Mira. Uh, but what? I'm just glad it's over. King's Landing can be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once I know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? Bah oui. Once you are queen, the lords and ladies will do their best to please you. You learn very quickly. Bah oui, your words to Cersei were brave. But I know you must fear what the Boltons might do to your family. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Oh, ça va, Thank you, my lady. Elle m'en tient pas rigueur. There's rigueur. something on my mind. Something important. Va demander son aide. I... I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. Pas sûr, elle veut déjà épouser Geoffrey pour être reine et avoir et avoir du pouvoir. C'est tout. I trust her. Go on. Ask. Forgive me, my lady. I wouldn't otherwise ask this of you, but my mother insisted. It's about my family. Ramsay Snow. What would you have me do? My mother fears our family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. She thought if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the crown. I know it's a lot to ask of you, and I wouldn't otherwise, but she insisted. That is no small request, especially now. I know, my lady, and I wouldn't ask this of you otherwise. 
But my mother has left me no choice. She insisted. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks. And now you would have me ask him to intervene. Is the situation that dire? You can't, my lady. Voilà. King Joffrey won't like it. Just think how he turned on Lady Sansa. It is that dire, my lady. I fear for my family's safety. I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out... Don't let the Queen bully you. You have power over him, Lady Marjorie, as no one else does. Not even his mother. Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. Very well. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Thank you, my lady. I will send a raven to my family at once. Euh, ah, je les ai mis dans la barrage, je crois. Et l'autre, elle va le balancer à la reine, je suis sûr. Ah, je pensais qu'on le retrouverait euh, au mur. de l'autre mon cheval est parti seven elves let's play a little game shall we ah c'est lui did you know my ancestors wore the skins of their enemies as a coat Best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have full enough practice. But he didn't make it easy. What with all that bloody noise? <laughs> like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. As my father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets. But the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father is the Warden of the North. He does now. How much further is it to these foresters? Uh, a day, my lord. Two at most. What was that? My lord? Shh! Listen! There. Hear that? I know I heard something. Pas bouger. Never mind. We've wasted enough time already. Oh la chance. J'ai bien fait de pas courir. J'aurais couru, il m'aurait poursuivi et ça aurait été pas bon. Le père de l'autre là, il est, il est mort en fait, je pense. Elle est plus là quoi. C'est dans la série, c'est lui qui le tue. C'est Ramsey qui le tue. Ah. C'est qui ça Allez. Bloody hell. Il doit quasiment arracher le, le devant du torse et tout ça. Bon, en tout cas, c'est ici que je vous laisse. J'espère que l'épisode vous aura plu. Likez la vidéo si elle vous a plu. 
Partagez avec vos amis. Abonnez-vous si ce n'est pas déjà fait. Et moi, je vous retrouve dans un prochain épisode. Ciao.